Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna do some testing today and check between a 14 Pro Max versus an iPhone 13 Pro on the signal strength. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some tests on LTE, 5G, and I'm also gonna go to an area that I know has a really poor T-Mobile signal, and I'm gonna see if that 14 picks up a better signal strength than what our 13 does. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Alrighty guys, so we've got a 14 Pro Max versus a 13 Pro. Uh, I'm in the service menu right now, and these may be picking up some different bands, so this might not be a 100% scientific test, but we're going to do the best we can. Uh, looks like signal strength currently on the 14 Pro Max, we're showing negative 89, and negative 91, 92 on our 13 Pro. So currently the 14 is picking up a slightly better signal. Uh, a few moments ago that was in the reverse, though, so they are they are flopping back and forth a bit, though. Let's go ahead and run a speed test and see what we can come up with. All right, gonna get these started here. Let's see what we get. Looks like our 13 <clears throat> was winning in the beginning and See how this plays out here. Both on the same server, both running the latest software, by the way. Got the R15 SIM and the 14, I'm sorry, and the 13 Pro and then the eSIM, of course, on the 14. I'm gonna go and run another one on this as well. Let's see here. It's kind of hard to do with one arm, but <laughs> hopefully you can see that all right. Yeah, and I'm recording this on an old busted up iPhone XR, so I hope the audio is good and the video. <laughs> so yeah, it look, looks like on both of these tests, the 14 Pro is a little bit faster so far. Not by much though. Ping is about equal on them. Uh, I think the 13 had a bit better ping on the first test. Yeah. So we've got 535 up, 48.2 down on our 14, uh, iPhone 13, 455 and 56.9. Okay, so that's 5G. Um, I'm gonna also go and run an LTE speed test. Give me just a few moments so I'll get that reset. All right, so for this test, I forced LTE only on both devices. Looks like our uh, 14 Pro is definitely showing a better signal on the LTE only. Uh, well, it just jumped down to 103, but 92 and then 98 on the 13 Pro. So, let's see here what we can do for a speed test. Okay, here it goes, guys. Same location. <clears throat> okay, so ping times are pretty close. target pop-up sorry <laughs> it's my wife's phone she likes her target deals so interesting our 13 is actually beating the 14 pro on this lte speed test i'm going to try and run another one here as well let's go ahead and start the 13 pro all right we'll get our 14 pro started as well okay I'm gonna beat it again. Kind of unusual. Could be a different band. It's hard to say. It's very possible. We're definitely getting a better signal strength on this 14, so maybe on a different LTE band. Or it might just be getting its butt whipped by an older phone. Who knows? <laughs> All right. So we're we're pretty close on that one. Our 13 beat it on the upload, and our 14 beat the download. I'm sorry, the uh, upload on the 14 was better, download on the 13 was better. So next I'm gonna go to a location that has like a s tremendously fast 5G, and we're gonna test these two devices. All right, guys, for this test, I've come to a part of town that I know has a tower that's super fast. Um, some of the peak speeds I've seen on this one, they're over 1100 megabits per second, so it's a, it's a pretty quick tower. Middle of the day here around 120, so no idea how much you know uh, these are being used right now, but let's go ahead and give them a shot. I'm gonna run the 14 Pro, and I've, I've switched sides here. I apologize, the 14 Pro is gonna be on the right side for this video. I'll run them separately, just so we can try to get a very even test and see what happens. 
I've noticed the ping's been a bit slower. It was a little bit faster a couple of weeks ago, so I don't know if maybe there's some maintenance on it or something's changed or what, but um, it was down around like 19, 20 seconds at this specific location. So it has definitely went up. I'm seeing it in the 40s, like, you know, 70s, 80s right now. But you can see on here, the speed's crazy fast. Almost broke the gig mark. And I could be wrong, but my guess is this is where we're going to see the biggest difference between this 13 versus the 14 Pro. Here goes the 13 Pro now, left-hand side. Hope you guys can see this okay. <laughs> now, see, we got a much faster ping on that 13 Pro, which is interesting. <clears throat> Yeah, the speed itself, way higher on the 14 Pro. That is, that I'm, I'm kind of curious as why that ping is so much better on that uh, 13 though. And it looks like our upload's a little better on the 13 too, which is very interesting. Let's try one more. I'm doing both at the same time. So you have 20 on the ping time versus 80 on the 14 Pro. So that may not make a huge amount of difference, honestly. Um, that increased upload speed, you know, if you're actually trying to download a movie or a game or something, you know, it's going to make a difference. But day-to-day uh, -day use, they're both crazy fast speeds, to be honest. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. So much higher upload that we're able to get on this uh, this 14 Pro. And that's pretty, really, you know, been pretty consistent with what I've been seeing. Um Prior to the 14 Pro, I've never broke uh, one gig before, but I've got this thing up multiple times, up over you know the 1,000 mark. Uh, I think about 1130, 1180 or so is my highest that I've got on it. Whereas I, I never got that on my iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, I think the highest was maybe like 800 or so maybe. Um, and I haven't seen it break 1,000 on my 13 Pro either. So uh, there you go, guys. And the next spot I'm gonna go to is an area with a very low signal strength. Um, I'm going to test to see if the 14 has any advantages in the very low signal strength area. Okay, guys, so I am now at the location that is our no signal zone. Uh, kind of a funky little place outside of town. I used to have a buddy that lived here years ago. And uh, when he lived here, the only cell uh, carrier that would get any service was Verizon, um, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile. You were pretty much screwed. <laughs> so we're going to check out this T-Mobile here today. Um, so right now, uh, both devices are picking up a very, very weak LTE signal. Um, when I when I was coming up and I first loaded this screen, the 13 Pro did actually have a little bit better signal, but I gave them a few minutes because I figured they're trying to hop onto some different bands. So I let them stabilize a bit. What we're looking at right now, the 13 Pro is showing negative 123, uh, negative 117 on our 14 Pro Max, which that may not seem like a lot, but... Um, the way I probably can't explain this because I don't understand it as, as much as some people probably do, but a one number difference or two number difference, it's a, it's like an exponential amount difference in signal strength. I just don't remember exactly um, how much of a difference it is, but you would think a 121 versus a 122 or vice versa is not much, but it, it can definitely make some difference when you're, when you're talking about those numbers. Um, so currently our 14 Pro Max is picking up a better signal here. Just a little bit, but let's see if it's enough to uh, to make a difference. I'm going to run some speed tests here. Um, honestly, when your signal's so bad, a speed test might not be the best thing. I'll run them individually, since this tower is probably pretty bad and uh, <laughs> signal's so bad right here. But this could make the difference of you being able to make a call or perhaps load up a map or something for some navigation. So that's where this could definitely make some difference for you. Our 13 Pro is still trying to connect. Let's see here. There we go. 86 ping and yeah, we've got some, we've got a little bit of data. Not much, but you could make a call or you could probably most likely load up a, uh, a map if you needed some navigation and maybe some very light web browsing. I assume the upload is going to be almost zero on this. Yeah, terrible. So you don't want to go and try to send a big picture message or something with this. <laughs> You'll be waiting. Got some lovely ads here on the 14 Pro. All right. 
So I think that bad boy is about finished up. So we came in at one, and I apologize, a little bit of a uh, reflection here from the sun, 1.35 for the upload and 0 0.05, I'm sorry, uh, 1.35 for our download, 0 0.05 for the upload on the 13 Pro. All right, off to the 14 Pro Max. Hit test on there. All right. Curious if it takes as long of a time as uh, the other one to connect. A little slower ping, but it's all right. Now we're definitely seeing a faster upload on this. Download, yeah, download's still pretty bad, which I, I expected that. But um, that's interesting. So the 14 Pro Max does have a little bit better signal than this 13 Pro in this area. That's a very, very bad area where you generally can't hardly do anything. Try another one. Car driving by me, they're probably wondering what I'm doing sitting here. <laughs> Look at that ping, guys. 393, ouch, and 108 on our 14 Pro. So yeah, similar result, results on this. Um, I mean, I'd say it's safe to say you're, this, this 14 Pro is getting a better signal on this fringe area like this. Hmm, very interesting. Let's go back and check our signal again. Okay, so yeah, it's showing uh, 121 on there right now. It was 124 a second ago. And yeah, let's see if we can get our 14 Pro to load up. Uh, there we are. So yeah, 117. So that's that's really um, interesting. Um, hmm. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, I'd, I'd like to actually try this some more, but just on a brief test, I would say signal strength does appear a little bit better on these fringe areas. So. Um, that, you know, I mean, if you're coming from an older iPhone up to the 14 Pro Max, it's possible you might have a little bit better signal, it looks like. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one.